Hello, I'm Maruk Said, your microbiology guide. Let's explore in-depth micro techniques and uncover groundbreaking insights together on this educational journey into the fascinating realms of microbes. Laboratory safety symbols with meanings. Lab signs and hazards you should know. Table of content. Introduction to laboratory safety signs. A. Warning and hazard symbols in the lab. B. Entry slash working requirement symbols in the lab. C. Different station symbols in the lab. Double dot location symbols of a specific object in the lab. E. Prohibition symbols in the lab. Advantages of laboratory safety symbols. Conclusion. Introduction to Laboratory Safety Signs Signs and symbols are figures that represent specific instructions about what actions to take or avoid, or they indicate the presence of specific materials or situations ahead. These figures serve as alerts for potential hazards, provide instructions to follow certain measures, or notify individuals of a particular object, situation, or location. Laboratories are environments where strict rules and practices must be followed without compromise, as any negligence can lead to deadly accidents. Such accidents may pose a threat not only to an individual, but also to the entire surrounding environment. Laboratories often contain hazardous materials, equipment with potential risks, restricted areas with limited access, areas where strict safety measures must be observed, and designated zones for specific tasks. These areas must be clearly indicated to ensure that everyone understands the situation, knows what actions are permitted, and works accordingly to maintain laboratory safety. Various signs and symbols are painted or displayed in different sections of a laboratory to communicate these instructions and warnings. Although the signs and symbols may differ depending on the type of lab and the activities conducted, each sign or symbol consistently represents a specific instruction regardless of the lab's location or type. If you have watched till here, don't forget to subscribe to Family of Science Lovers. Press the bell icon button so you are always updated. A. Warning and hazard symbols in the lab. Warning and hazard symbols in the lab are used to indicate potential threats in specific areas. If you notice these symbols, stay alert and take extra precautions while working in that zone. It's advisable to receive proper instruction before working in areas marked with these symbols. General warning symbol. Symbol, general warning, indicates presence of possibly hazardous materials or environment. Health hazard symbol. Symbol, health hazard, indicates presence of chemical, physical, or biological factors that may negatively affect human health. Biological hazard symbols in the lab. Biological hazard symbols in the lab represent biological substances that could negatively affect the health of humans or other living beings. This includes pathogenic microorganisms, toxins, viruses, virulent proteins, body fluids, and materials contaminated with body fluids. Biological hazard symbol. Symbol, biological hazard, indicates presence of biohazardous materials. Biosafety level one symbol. Symbol, biosafety level one, indicates presence of risk group one, organisms. Organisms that usually don't cause disease in healthy adults. Minimum potential hazard to the environment and personnel. Effective treatments available. Biosafety level two symbol. Symbol, biosafety level two. Indicates presence of risk group. Two organisms. Organisms that can cause mild infections. 
moderate hazard to environment and personnel, less likely to spread through aerosol, treatment, chalk prevention available. Biosafety Level 3. Symbol. Symbol. Biosafety Level 3. Indicates. Presence of risk. Group 3 organisms. Organisms causing severe infections and can spread via aerosol. High individual risk. Moderate community risk. Some treatments available. Biosafety Level 4. Symbol. Symbol. Biosafety Level 4. Indicates. Presence of risk. Group 4 organisms. Organisms with high potential to cause serious infections in individuals and communities. Highly transmissible. No available treatment or prevention. Chemical hazard symbols in the lab. Chemical hazard symbols in the lab signify the presence of chemical substances that could harm humans or other living beings. Poison slash poisonous material symbol. Symbol poison indicates presence of toxic materials. Carcinogenic symbol. Symbol carcinogenic indicates presence of cancer-causing materials. Corrosive material hazard symbol. Symbol corrosive indicates presence of corrosive substances. Harmful irritant symbol. Symbol harmful irritants indicates presence of chemicals that may cause irritation. Physical material hazard symbols in the lab. Physical material hazard symbols in the lab warn of specific substances or conditions like heat, cold, pressure, vibration, sound, radiation, electricity, that can be dangerous to living beings upon contact or exposure. High voltage symbol. Symbol, high voltage. Indicates, area with high voltage electricity supply. Electric hazard symbol. Symbol, electric hazard. Indicates, risk of electric shock ranging from mild to severe. Cryogenic hazard symbol. Symbol, cryogenic hazard. Indicates, low temperature zone. Flammable material symbol. Symbol, flammable. Indicates, presence of combustible substances. Oxidizing material symbol. Symbol, oxidizing. Indicates, presence of oxidizing chemicals. Explosive material symbol. Symbol, explosive. Indicates, presence of explosive or self-reactive substances. Hot surface symbol. Symbol, hot surface. Indicates, risk of burns if touched without protection. Ionizing radiation, radiation hazard. Symbol, symbol, radiation. Indicates, presence of ionizing radiation or electromagnetic waves that can ionize atoms. Non-ionizing radiation, hazard symbol. Symbol, non-ionizing radiation. Indicates, presence of electromagnetic waves that do not ionize atoms but can excite electrons. UV radiation hazard symbol. Symbol, UV radiation. Indicates, presence of ultraviolet light. Laser hazard symbol. Symbol, laser. Indicates, presence of laser radiation. Glassware. Hazard symbol. Symbol, glassware. Indicates, risk due to presence of broken glass materials. B entry slash working requirement symbols in the lab. Entry and working requirement symbols in the lab provide instructions on the necessary actions or protective equipment required before entering or performing tasks in a specific area. These symbols ensure that personnel are properly protected and help maintain a safe laboratory environment. Gloves required. Symbol, gloves required. Indicates, protective gloves must be worn while working in this area. Safety, glasses required. Symbol, safety glasses required. Indicates, safety goggles must be worn while working in this area. Safety shoes required. Symbol, safety shoes required. Indicates, closed toe. Safety shoes must be worn in this area. Lab coat required. Symbol, lab coat required, indicates a lab coat, apron, must be worn while in this area. Protective clothing required. Symbol, protective clothing required, 
indicates full protective clothing must be worn in this area. Respirator required. Symbol respirator required indicates a breathing mask or respirator must be worn due to contaminated air. Face slash safety mask required. Symbol face mask required indicates a face, dust, or safety mask must be worn. Face shield required. Symbol face shield required indicates a face shield must be worn during work. Hair protection required. Symbol hair protection required indicates hair protection must be worn before starting work. Hearing protection required. Symbol hearing protection required indicates a hearing protection device must be worn while working. C. Different stations symbols in the lab. Different station symbols in the lab are used to indicate specific areas designated for particular tasks. These symbols ensure that only the intended activity is carried out at each station. For example, even if water is available, you should not wash your hands at the eye wash station. Hand wash station. Symbol. Hand wash station. Indicates designated area for washing hands only. Eye wash station. Symbol. Eye wash station. Indicates designated area for rinsing eyes only. Shower station. Symbol. Shower station. Indicates area meant for emergency showering. Hand sanitization station. Symbol. Hand sanitization station. Indicates station for sanitizing hands. Emergency meeting station. Symbol. Emergency meeting station. Indicates designated gathering point for all lab personnel during an emergency or emergency meeting. Delocation symbols of a specific object in the lab. Location symbols of a specific object in the lab are used to identify the exact placement of important materials or devices that are needed during specific situations, such as emergencies. These include items like first aid kits, fire extinguishers, and emergency bells. Fire extinguisher. Symbol, fire extinguisher. Indicates location of the fire extinguisher. First aid. Symbol, first aid. Indicates area containing the first aid box and medical supplies. Drinking water. Symbol, drinking water. Indicates source of safe drinking water. Fire blanket. Symbol, fire blanket. Indicates location of the fire blanket. Fire hose. Symbol, fire hose. Indicates placement of a hose containing water or fire retardant. Emergency bell. Symbol, emergency bell. Indicates bell to be pressed in case of an emergency such as fire or accident. If you have watched till here, don't forget to subscribe to Family of Science Lovers. Press the bell icon button so you are always updated. E. Prohibition symbols in the lab. Prohibition symbols in the lab are used to indicate specific actions or items that are not allowed in certain areas. These symbols typically appear as icons crossed out with a red line, clearly communicating what must be avoided to ensure safety and protocol compliance. Restricted entry. Symbol, restricted entry, indicates only authorized personnel are allowed to enter this area. Food and drink prohibited. Symbol, food and drink prohibited, indicates Eating or drinking is strictly not allowed in this area. No open flame. Symbol, no open flame. Indicates, open flames must not be used here due to the presence of flammable or heat-sensitive substances. No light. Symbol, no light. Indicates, area must be kept dark due to the presence of photosensitive materials. No open shoes. Symbol, no open shoes. Indicates, open toe footwear is not allowed. No open hair. Symbol, no open hair. Indicates 
Hair must be tied up or covered. Loose hair is not permitted. No electronics. Symbol, no electronics. Indicates, use or possession of electronic devices is not allowed in this area. No gloves. Symbol, no gloves. Indicates, gloves must be removed before entering or working in this area. Advantages of laboratory safety symbols. Help prevent accidents by raising awareness of potential hazards. Alert personnel to possible dangers, enabling them to take precautions and avoid preventable incidents. Serve as visual reminders of duties, safety practices, and correct procedures. Clearly mark the location of essential equipment and materials for quick and efficient access during emergencies. Identify the intended function or purpose of specific areas, stations, or tools in the laboratory. Conclusion A laboratory is an environment filled with various hazardous materials, sensitive instruments, and high-risk procedures. Strict adherence to safety protocols is essential and non-negotiable. To reinforce these safety measures and indicate specific areas, procedures, hazards, or materials, laboratories use safety signs and symbols. Symbols are designed to be visually engaging and immediately informative, providing critical information at a glance, unlike written instructions, which can be lengthy and easily overlooked. For maximum effectiveness, safety symbols must be clear, unambiguous, and correctly color-coded. Placement is also crucial. Symbols should be positioned where they are easily visible and contextually relevant. Poorly placed or unclear symbols can lead to confusion and increase risk. While many symbols are straightforward, some that represent specialized scientific or technical hazards may be more complex. Therefore, it is vital for all personnel to be familiar with each safety symbol and its meaning. This knowledge is a key component of Good Laboratory Practices, GLP, and plays a significant role in preventing accidents and maintaining a safe working environment. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, press the bell icon button. Thank you.